guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. Today we're gonna be shopping my stash. I really need to redo my like everyday makeup drawers. It's been a minute since I've done a shop my stash and so it's just kind of chaos and I'm excited to pick some stuff out. I think I'm only gonna be shopping my stash for about a week, maybe like a week and a half and then I wanna redo it. I'm not sure if I'll film it when I do that but I'm really focusing on like a week and a half. I'm hoping to try some new products, keep testing some stuff and also put in some oldies but goodies in there too. So that's my goal with this one. I don't really have a theme other than let's fill these freaking drawers. I guess I'll move this over. These are drawers I got off of Sephora a long time ago, but you can get acrylic drawers from so many places. And this is what I keep in my bathroom and what I really like consider my everyday makeup drawer. And then I have all my makeup in these drawers down here. I have a bunch of the Alex Ikea drawers. I have four of them. We're gonna get in depth. Obviously I've already done my makeup, so I won't be doing a tutorial in this video, but I hope you enjoy the deep dive into the Shop My Stash. And I hope it inspires you to shop your own stash and get excited about the makeup you have. So let's get into it. So we're in the top drawer of the first set of drawers. This is all primers and concealers. That's really what it is. Naturally, I'm going with my First Aid Beauty. I feel like until my Valentino comes, I don't know when that will ever come. This is definitely the one I've been using a lot and really relying on for a good base. I'm also gonna put the Exa Beauty one in here. This is the jump start. If you didn't see the video I did, I think yesterday using this, I will leave it down below. So check that out. But I'm gonna keep testing this. I didn't have that many issues with this product uh, compared to some other things. So hopefully I can find a way to make this work for me. And I think last I'm gonna go with the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. This one's really good for a glow. And I don't think it makes me oily, but I kind of want to have a few more test runs with it. It's one though that I overall do enjoy. As for concealers, I'm gonna go with that Exa Beauty Color Corrector. This is the shade pink and it is quite pink. I do find it color corrects. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet though. So I want to keep trying it obviously. I've been loving the Dior uh, Forever Skin or whatever this is, really loving it. And there's so much product, it's just easy. So that one's going in. And I think I'm gonna throw this Glossier uh, Stretch Concealer in as well. I haven't used this in forever. I used to use it all of the time but I'm gonna bust that out too and just see if I, I get on with it, you know? And I think that's everything for this drawer. All right, moving on to the second drawer here. These are all of my foundations as well as some powders that I have. For powder, I think I'm just gonna pick the Huda Beauty. This is the shade Pound Cake and I feel like it gives me the most longevity and I can use it with my sprays to kind of bring a little bit of life back, but I definitely get a matte look and longevity. So I'm gonna pick that. For foundations, I am probably sticking to a few tried and trues. Obviously the Yensa, it's just always in there because if I don't put it in, I'm gonna come running back and get it at some point. So I'm just gonna put this one in. I'm working so hard to use up my Sneaky Balm from Salt New York. I really love the way this looks as well, but it's so close. I think I'm gonna throw that in. And I'm not sure what was in here last time, but I'm gonna put in the Kosas again. I'm not doing the Exa. I need a break from it for just a second because it was not the best experience initially. So I'm gonna go to the Kosa and see if I can make this one work for me and just go back to it. This is one that it, I just find is okay. Like it looks pretty good some days, other days I don't like it. It's just a toss up and not one of my absolute like favorite loves. And I think that's everything I'm gonna pick cause I'm only doing it for like a week. So I don't wanna like overwhelm myself with too many options. All right, the next drawer here is bronzer and I have lots of creams, I have lots of powder and I've actually really been into the bronzer. So I definitely wanna pick some of this stuff to go in there. I have really been enjoying the Kevin Aquan powder. So I'm gonna put that in. This is the sculpting powder and light. Thinking about potentially declutters coming in the future, I probably should get some more thoughts and like really solidify what I wanna do with this Kosas bronzer. So I'm gonna put that in. As for the cream products, I'm gonna go with these two cream bronzers from e.l.f. One is more of a contour and I really haven't used this one a ton. So I wanna use that now that I want to contour more. And then I'm also gonna do the e.l.f. bronzer, which I really quite like and I find to be a dupe for the NARS one. Ooh, you know what? I'm also going to put this one in the Charlotte Tilbury. I feel like when I first got this, I was using it, but I haven't used it in a while. So I'm going to put that in too. This next drawer honestly is not that special. It's just like sprays and extra sponges. And I already have my sprays out actually. Let me grab them. The two I've been using and want to continue using are the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Veil Mist and the Half Magic Dew Lock. So 
those are the two I'm gonna keep using. Okay, I feel like this angle is so weird, so I hope it's not too bad, but this is the last drawer I'm gonna go into before we get into palettes, which are all on the bottom of all of these drawers. This is like liners, primers, mascaras, more like workhorse stuff is how I think of it anyway. I'm definitely pulling out the Tower 28 Make Waves mascara. I've really been loving it. I also have some mini Chella mascaras that I want to use, keep using, and I also want to make a short with these. So that will hopefully be coming soon, and I'm gonna put those in. And to be honest, that's kind of all I need for mascaras, even though I could put some of these in, but I've really been using that Make Waves one. For primers, I'm definitely putting in the glitter glue. I've been using this all the time lately, and uh, I've liked the look and the longevity, so I'm putting that in. And I think otherwise, I'll probably just do creams as my bases, so that's probably it. And then I don't intend to really do rhinestones or liners. If I wanna do that, I'll come in here. All right, so we're into the blush drawer. I am so excited. I love blush, you guys. I love it. I'm definitely going with the Dior because I just got this during the sale and I want to keep testing it. So the Dior Coral Glow Blush is going in. I also want to keep testing the Patrick Ta. I mean, these are just new ones, so that's why they're going. I honestly think last for powderish blush, I'm going to go with this Bobbi Brown and... It is just so pretty. I know it's kind of bronzy and maybe more of a summery look, but I do love it. And I feel like I haven't used it in a while, so I'm gonna put that in. This next drawer is just more blush, but this is all cream blushes. So I definitely want my two persona, which you guys know I love. I freaking love Teddy so much. Oh, so good. So I definitely want that. But then the newest one, Jam, I do want to keep using. I just think it looks so good with those like taupey minky colors that I've been loving, which can be a little bit more neutral in the eyes, but this adds some pop to the cheeks. So I'm going to put those two in. This is one that I always thought would be a good one for fall, for blush. It's kind of weird. This is from Ritual Defeat. Um, and it's a very interesting color. So I kind of want to do a look with that. Let me know if you guys would be interested. Maybe I'll put that in a get ready with me type video or something like that. And honestly, it's so hard because there's so many in here I love so much, but I think I'm just going to pick that because I have some other ones I want to test and I'll kind of go through those at the end because I keep my PR type stuff until I've like used it and tried it kind of off. So we'll go through that after. This drawer is a little more mismatched. So it's like highlighters and blushes, kind of whatever I can fit in here, honestly. Oh my god, excuse how crusty this looks like my palette, but I'm gonna put the Teresa and Lethal collab face products into my shop my stash. I definitely want to keep using them. I absolutely love the blush and the highlighters are really fun as well. So those are gonna go in. I think I'm gonna give this MAC one also like one more try because I honestly wasn't in love with it. It looks so good, like it's gonna be so good, you guys, but I haven't found that to be true, at least when I first got it, so maybe I found a way to make it work now. I guess we'll see. All right, now we're into highlighters. These are most of my powder highlighters, and there's a part of me that wants to just reach for my same old ones. Like, I love the Pat McGrath. I think I'm gonna put this in there just because I love it for my eye looks, and I always miss it and come find it, so I'm gonna put that in. I think I'm gonna give this Half Magic one another chance. This one is the more neutral out of what they have, but it does have some purpley shimmers in it as well. So I'm going to give that one a go. And then what else? I think I'm going to try this from Alamar. I'm going to see if I actually like this one. So those are it. I'm testing a lot this time that I've had for a little bit to make sure how I feel about them going forward. And then last year we have creams in this drawer. I think I'm just going to do my ColourPop creams. I love these. I think they're really good. And I recently tried Felicity, really sparkly, but kind of neutral still. So I'm going to do that. I also have lunch money and I think seismic. Oh no, flexitarian. I do have seismic though too. That one's seismic. So maybe I'll just do all of these and if I feel like doing a cream, I'll bust one of these out. All right, we are on to lips and this top drawer is like lip glosses, tinted balms, that type of stuff. I feel like for lips it's tough because I want to pick the things I know I'm gonna wear, but I also want to pick some fall related things. So that's kind of my goal. I think for a clear gloss, I'm gonna go with this Romand one. I really love the fun sparkles in it and I love a clear gloss with lip liner, so I know I'm gonna want one. I think these might be my fall picks for glosses. I have the Merit uh, Sangria like lip oil. 
so pretty. But then I also have this one from Rowan called Scout. It was finally in a boxy charm, so I got to try it out. It's more of a berry, so I'm gonna put that in for sure. Okay, otherwise I think I'm just gonna do this Nabla gloss and this Linda Hallberg, which I really love. This is in the shade like Mellow Mauve. Oh God, I put way too much. Shoot. <laughs> it's a really pretty gloss though, so I'm gonna put those in. Moving into this drawer, these are all my liquid lipsticks and regular lipsticks. YSL was recently having a sale and their lipsticks were buy one, get one. So they were like half off. So I did pick up two. This one is the shade 150 and it's sheer. It's like a pink, kind of neutrally pink. And then the other one is the shade 125, which is a little more neutral, but also like orange leaning a little bit more warm. So I'm definitely putting those in. I remember when everyone had these lipsticks and I was like, oh, they're so pretty. Um, and you can't beat that. I got them for $20, $20. The smell on them is also different than it used to be. I thought it was more floral, but now it's like a more fruity smell. As for liquid lipsticks, it's time. I'm busting out chocolate wasted. I'm busting out cold shoulder. Look at these colors. These are so good. I, def I already have a look planned for chocolate wasted. So you'll probably see that soon. I think I'm gonna do brick as well. I mean, these are just quintessential fall lipsticks and I've been liking the matte lips. They just look really good on my lips. They make my lips look way bigger <laughs> than they are. And I'm not gonna lie, it's a nice look. I appreciate the work they're doing for me, you know? So I'm gonna put those in. I might even come and get a red at some point later on in the week because they look that good. You know what? Maybe I'll put this Stila Patina in. Do you remember then this is like the thing? I need to do a throwback to like what everyone was raving about back in the day, but Patina was everyone's favorite. I think that's all I'm gonna do for lipsticks for now. I'm getting lip gloss on everything. All right, for lip balms, I am going to pick out the Laneige Gingerbread for By My Bedside. This will just be like when I get ready for bed, put it on. And it's nice and festive, but I also wanna try this new one, which has like a sheen to it. So I'm gonna put that in too. As for lip liners, I mean, I always go back to my same ones, but I'm gonna put the Persona ones in this Shop My Stash because I am planning to do a like reviewing everything from Persona video soon. So I really wanna get some of my true thoughts on them. I do really like them. The colors are all really beautiful. Let me show you. That's Almond. That's 90210. That one's Rosewood. And the top swatch is Dusk. So those are all the Persona liners. But to make sure I'm covered, I'm gonna put the Makeup Forever in, Wherever Walnut. I'm also gonna throw in a few that I feel like might go better with the liquid lipstick. So like a red, this one's a little bit more grayish, and then a purple. So I don't know. I don't have like a super deep chocolate liner, which maybe is something I could look into. All right, next here we have liners and brow products. I really stick to the same brow products, like Let's Be Real, Tarte, Rowan, Persona, and ColourPop. That's what this is. <laughs> I do wanna try some different brow gels because I feel like just on camera, everything looks so warm, even though in real life, if it isn't, so I kind of want to just like have a better look on camera. So I'm going to look into some other ones, but for now, I love those. For liners though, I want to put these ones in from Urban Decay. Um, they were also doing a really good sale recently. So I got Mushroom because I love a taupey gray liner. It gives me definition. It's shimmery and sultry without being too harsh. And so I feel like Mushroom is going to be perfect. But I also got Smog, which is a bronze color. So those are definitely going in. I really like the Persona Plum Liner as well because of it being defining but not too dark for me. So that's another one. I've been going back to my rose gold from Pixie. I just love it. It's just a little nub. This is one I need to repurchase. I honestly think the last two I'm gonna pick are greens. I'm going with the Jones Road Beauty and Ivy. And then this one is from the uh, Christie, Raw Beauty Christie and ColourPop. Ooh, they complement each other so well. I'm gonna do those. I have a feeling I'm gonna pick some green eyeshadows when I shop my stash, so I wanna have those. All right, and then last we have my shadow stick drawer, which is like a pride and joy. I love this drawer so much. I love Sigma Sorbet. So I'm gonna put that in. I just love this color. It goes with so much. So that's a great base for me. It has like the perfect amount of pearl in it where it's not matte, but not like shimmery, shimmery. I showed this in a short when I was unboxing it. This is from Byredo and it's a really shimmery color called Solar Flare. I'm gonna put that in. I'm still testing this. I guess spoiler like, no, no. Sparkly and pretty, sure, but worth the money. I mean, it's hard to, it's just luxury makeup to me. <laughs> 
so far anyway, we'll keep testing it. I feel like I've been going a little grungy as well lately. So I wanna put this e.l.f. shadow in. It's called Blue Steel. I think that'll be kind of fun to smudge out. It'd look good with that berry blush as well. And then this one's from About Face called Actually Ambrosia. And it's like a more taupey color as well. So I'm gonna put that in. All right, we're going into the last set of drawers. And these are gonna be a lot of my single shadows, cream shadows, and small eyeshadow palettes. This I feel like I have to keep testing from Jouer. So I'm gonna put it in so I can make sure I hate it. <laughs> also really feeling putting in some of the dazzle sticks from KVD Beauty. I'm gonna do some of my favorite, let's see. I don't know if I'm gonna do that one. I think that's Hail Surge, but I think, yeah. I'm gonna do my two faves, which are Electric Bolt. Love that one, love it, love it. And I'm gonna do this one, which is called Flash Storm, which is probably my number one favorite. It is so pretty, like so pretty. I think I shot my stash for these last time, the Moira singles, but they were just so good. I definitely plan on featuring them soon because these are so great. This is Infinity, which is so pretty. They're very similar, somewhat. I think the best thing I could compare them to is the Super Shocks, but that's Infinity. I really loved that, but I also loved Orion. That one was so pretty too. I'm gonna put those back in. <laughs> <laughs> They're that good. They're going back in. I kind of want to add one of these Sydney Grayson too. I'm going to go with the one that's like more light and kind of warm. Has like a rose gold kind of color to it. This is the shade Stolen Kiss. So I'm going to do those. I mean, look at these shadows. They look really good in this light. I think that's it for that drawer. Now to my single cream drawer. I definitely want to pick out some ColourPop Super Shocks. I just, I love these so much. Like Moonwalk for a holiday look. So pretty, I'm gonna put that in. I also just love Ritz, like that one is so good. I'll swatch Moonwalk too, why not? Like they're so pretty. This is not nearly as sparkly, but it has a nice duochrome. I kinda wanna do something berry too, so I'm gonna pick out this phase zero. These are really nice cream shadows. I've mentioned they like remind me of the Rowan formula, but they dry down. So I'm gonna put this one in from phase zero and that's in the shade Barbie Girl. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's all I'm gonna pick from there. In preparation for the retro glam palette that's coming to me, I think I'm gonna pick out the Natasha Denona mini retro. This is one of my faves. I love this really sparkly champagne and then that olive. They look so good. I'm excited to have that in. The palette I'm wearing today is Almond from Glossier and I love this monochromatic look. It's been a second since I busted it out and I think I'm gonna put that in too because I really like the way my eyeshadow came out today and it was so easy. I will have a short on this look so I guess look out for that if you're interested but you guys know how I do my eyeshadow, pretty simple. I know I want one of my Rowan shadows and I kind of want Eyes on Me. Like this is one of those palettes that's great for summer. Like, you know, it's bronzy and red for summer, but also fall and winter. So I kind of think that one, but I also kind of want Gold Lust, the two new ones. Oh, but I love Mood Forever. That one is really one of my favorites. I also have the cool one, which is very fall. So I'm kind of like, maybe I should pick that one, but I don't think I will. I love 11 11. Ah, oh, but there is Gold Lust. I think I'm gonna do Gold Lust and Eyes on Me. I love my pop shots. I don't know if I'm gonna put them in right now though. Maybe I'll do this one from Shantakai. Do this like gray. That one's kind of fun and very sparkly, but kind of sheer. That's it swatched out. It almost looks like a greeny gray charcoal color. I also have some singles from Urban Decay that I want to put in here. So I got one of the Moon Dust. This one's in the shade, I think it's a lithium. Oh, it is so pretty. That one is so like, I think because these have been around so long, it's easy to forget about them, but they really are some of the best single shadows you can get at Sephora, specifically the Moon Dust formula. But I also have some of their more classic ones. I'm gonna put those in too. And then I think that's everything. I mean, geez, it's only like a week and a half. <laughs> Get it together, girl. We have more small eyeshadow palettes in here and it's kind of hard to know what to pick. I know I have some other stuff that I'm trying to use. So I might just pick this newer palette and get some more wear out of it from Dose of Colors. This is the Nine Years Later palette. I use it in my last video. So if you want to see it in action, check that out. But I think I'm going to put that in. And you know, I'm going to bring back out the Linda Hallberg. Uh, this is one that I have been loving. It's new this year. 
all sparkles, so good. I guess I'll swatch. These are not <laughs> very good swatches, I'm so sorry. You know, one of those palettes that reminds you why you like makeup. Why do you like it? Because look at those shadows. That's why, that's why I love it. So yeah, I'm gonna put that in. And then I think this is the last one until I get into like the deeper drawers with more palettes. I think the only thing I wanna pull from here is this Makeup by Mario, the Master Metallics. Uh, it's just an all shimmer metallic palette. I'm gonna put that in. So I decided to go through the drawers, like the bigger drawers myself and just pick out the palettes that I was inspired to use. <laughs> And it's like a lot. Um, I definitely can't use necessarily all of these in the time, but I just didn't know what I'd be inspired by. So these are the ones I'm gonna put in. Hopefully they fit in the drawer, but let me show them to you in their full glory. So first here, this is the Lorac Fairytale Forest palette. Love this when it came out last year and I definitely wanna get some more use out of it. It has some really nice shimmers. It also has a few of those green colors. So um, I'm inspired by those in this palette for sure. And yeah, I just wanna give it some love. This one from Zoeva, the Aristo palette. I just can't, like I can't get over this color story. I don't think this is available anymore, but I really do love the way that these colors are. And I love the kind of idea of two shadow looks that so easily come about in this palette. So I'm putting that in. I picked the Patrick Ta uh, Major Dimensions 2 because it has a little bit more of those rosy tones. And I wanted something to pair with that Barbie shade. So I was thinking maybe something like this, maybe even something deeper just as like an option. Plus it has beautiful shimmery sparkles in here as well and some cream bases. So I'm putting that one in from Patrick Ta. This next palette is the Triumph of Venus. This is from High Love. And I liked this because it has a lot of the blues actually, like these wintry cooler blues with this nice charcoal and a gray. And I just like that. There's a few pops of warmth as well. I don't know. I was just feeling this one, even though it's a little different than what I was saying. And I put it in. The Retro Palette, the original Retro Palette, which is based off the mini retro, not the Retro Glam. It's also confusing in the Natasha Denona universe, but I'm putting this in and I, mm, I love this. Honestly, this is like one of the ones I should have had first. Like seriously, that's how I feel. One of the best ones of the midi palettes from Natasha Denona. I decided to put in like a sentimental and also throwback palette, Mel's Tiny Marvels. I just, I don't know. I just felt inspired to use it and think of her and do this palette. So I love the colors in here. There's some greens, there's some of those berries. And I think although it can be kind of spring, I feel like it also can play into fall. I love this shade here. Um, it's like a duo chrome so I'm putting that in this next one is from the beauty bakery it's called the chosen bun and it's more of those really cool toned like taupey shimmers there's a lot of that going on let's see there's some shimmers for you but they're kind of rose gold like they're not as cool as you think almost and I like that that's one of the qualities I, I like about this so I want to put this in definitely an easy one I told you it was a lot I told you it was unrealistic honestly <laughs> this is the bard palette from fantasy cosmetica and it is beautiful lots of really pretty textural shimmers in here with some really fun mattes um, I had a little bit of a problem with my center shade coming apart but I tried to repress it the best I could and I'm excited for this. Let me, I'll put some swatches. Very pretty, very pretty. So I wanted to put that in. I don't think this one needs explanation, but the Of Quartz palette from ColourPop, really like this one. I feel like every year I bust out the Smitten in Switzerland palette from BH. I just love this color story. We have the mauves and the purples, a little bit of blue, a little bit of yellow, but the greens and neutrals, like it's a good color story for how big it is. And then naturally, I couldn't not put these in. I think I saw something about how these are actually like they're done done. Like I don't think you can even pre-order them anymore. Like I don't think they expected these to be as big of a hit as they were and I'm kind of sad about it. I talk about these in a favorites video coming up and I'm like, well, <laughs> can't get them. But the Odin's Eye uh, Christmas palettes, I think I think my favorite one's Merry Christmas. I just love that color story. I love the shimmers. I've been really having fun playing around with it. And this is the Christmas Eve. And I also love that one. And I just wanna play around with these definitely for the next two months. Like you're gonna be seeing these probably a lot. They're just gonna be in my shop, my stashes. They're gonna be like in my makeup because I just think they're so festive and I really wanna get a lot of good use out of them toward the end of the year. So I forgot to show you the PR picks, and so they're not gonna be in the final clips. I'm so sorry. I'm kind of filming this after the fact because I was like, oh, 
I wanna show you those things too. <laughs> and I honestly just forgot, but I kind of keep stuff in a basket so that I can kind of know what's separate and whatnot. So for a few palettes that I want to put in here just to see if I can test them out. This is the Clay It Cool from ColourPop. I really wanna mix this up with the other two that are similar and get like my own color story. So. I might put that in a video. This one actually isn't from PR. This is from a BoxyCharm, but it's from Item Beauty. Okay, I hope I don't break it by bending this backwards, but actually pretty excited about some of the textures in here and that it wasn't real glitter. So I'm excited to try that. I also have the other Dose of Colors palette. I'm gonna put that in. I haven't tried this one yet. It's more purple. So I'm gonna put that in. I'm gonna zoom you in more, so hopefully I'm catching better light. I also have this Wonder Beauty Duo, and it's really pretty. It's kind of fashioned like the Tom Ford ones, but I really like the color of it. Pretty basic, but beautiful. With that Dose of Colors collection, there were also some liquid lip oils, so I'm gonna put these in. I'll swatch them real fast for you guys. That first one's called Pretty Casual. That's what it looks like. That next one, this one here is called Pretty Cute. This peachy pink is called Pretty Fun. And then last, that one's called Pretty Nice, the deepest one, so. Yeah, they're like semi-sheer. I haven't really given these a chance at all, so I definitely wanna try those. I think that's kind of it for the basket. And then I do have these Kaja Bento boxes. I really want to try more of these out. I feel like for so long I wanted these and I can't believe that I have like all of them. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like insane. So I don't know which one I want to pick, but I know I'm definitely gonna put some of those in because I wanna try them out. Spiked Ginger is pretty. I might do Spiked Ginger. I think the only all shimmer one is, is called Toasted Caramel and it has all of them as shimmers, so that's kind of fun. But I don't know if I want that one. Oh, this one's all matte. Oh, this one's all shimmer. Maybe I'll do this one too. This one's called Orange Blossom. I like that color a lot. Yeah, I'll do Orange Blossom too. And then last, I have a ton of stuff from Half Cake Beauty, so I definitely wanna pick some of this. There's tons of cream blushes, so I'm probably gonna put most of these in there. There's also some cream bronzers, so I think that's what's gonna go in, and then I think I'm good. <laughs> Jeez. All right, back to the video. All right, so that's all the makeup that I picked out. Now I'm gonna put it away into the drawers. Fingers crossed it all fits, and then I'll show you the final kind of look of everything. They almost all fit, they almost, and look how skinny it is. Oh, it didn't fit though. But here it is all done. I have everything organized. I do kind of the same organization every time. So the bottom row is all of my palettes, the bigger palettes. Then on top of that is just cheeks, like bronzers, blushes, highlighters, anything and everything. It's kind of just a catch-all drawer for all of that stuff. Then I have two lip product drawers actually this time. These are like the skinnier drawers. I did one full more of my fall lippies and more bold color choices and then one for more everyday and also just like more neutral options. As for the other two skinny drawers, one is more for like mascara, liner, primer, really like again what I call workhorse products for my eyes. And then I have a cream shadow drawer which has a lot of the sticks but I did put the color pop shadows as well as that phase zero in there too. I have one of the small yet deeper drawers for my face products that's like everything base related and then last I have have a drawer for my smaller eyeshadows. This drawer usually just ha 
Cosmetica's small eyeshadow palettes, but I did put some of the single shadows that were powder in there as well, uh, just to have them in there. So that was my Shop My Stash. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it inspired you to go shop your stash, what you have, get inspired for either the season or some looks you might have in mind. I really love refreshing my everyday makeup drawers because the bigger collection of drawers can be a little overwhelming for day to day, and it kind of confines me to use some fun stuff, either re-explore some stuff or test stuff that I want to. But I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.